Alright guys, so we're going to talk about EQI, eccentric, quasi-isometric, that means basically if you look at muscular growth, I'm going to show you how to really expand the chest and get some muscular growth throughout the chest. The eccentric component um, is where the damage is done and that's where you're going to add uh, to the size of the muscle fiber and possibly more muscle fibers. Some people say that's not possible. I don't know about that. So EQI. And eccentric is the negative phase, and the quasi-isometric would be you're trying to hold isometric contraction, but you're not able to hold that the whole time, so it's eccentrically stretching, but it's slowly. So let's check it out. We're going to do a fly and a static hold on the uh, blast traps. Stop that. So on the fly, dumbbell fly, <clears throat> more of a bodybuilding movement. We're talking about uh, a big eccentric, you really control the eccentric component of it. You're really trying to stretch the muscle out uh, under a load. So I hit a set. Okay, so let's say we hit 10 reps. Arms back, we're coming up. Control on the way down. Remember, we're going from muscular growth here. All right, say I got 10, I got like six. So we're gonna follow up the dumbbell fly with a quasi-isometric exercise, blast strap, static holds, so you've got instability, you're trying to hold up at the top for as long as you can, or 30 seconds, we'll hit the sets here, so this is a quasi-isometric, but let's say the set's going on and I'm starting to fatigue, you'll notice my body is lowering down, so we're getting the eccentric component, okay, so if you follow up the dumbbell flies with this great movement, I mean, obviously you got to have your nutrition on point, but great movement for uh, putting some mass on the chest. So that's one way to put some chest size on pretty quickly. 